Okay, class, I want to think back about our do now. Right, you thought about why it would be important to know terrain. Where would it be the most important? And I'm looking on the board here where we made your list from your journal. Right, the military is probably the most important. Some of you might be in the military in a few years, and certainly you're going to want to understand terrain. Okay, and uh, what was our second? Right, right, our second greatest use was in building. And we're going to think about that soon. Yeah, and some of you thought yourself that maybe finding people. You know, you've heard about these rescues where they have to go into the woods and find somebody. Yep, I think you'd want to know terrain. Okay, what we're going to do today is actually have you become builders. And you're going to use terrain to help you win the bid. Albany County wants to put in a new housing area. And so we're going to see who's going to be builders. Now, everybody's in their teams, right? And I want the team recorder to take notes today in your class journal. Okay, would all the team recorders raise their hands? Okay, team four, do you have a recorder? Right, right, Jamal. Okay, Jamal, you're the recorder. Uh, recorder, remember that you have to take neat notes because we're going to be using these. Okay, and did you notice that I had something plastic on top of your desk? Right, and I know some of you were peeking, but it was upside down for a reason. Okay, I want you to turn that over, take a close look at it, and in your team, write down everything you notice about what's on the other side of this plastic thing. Okay, now that you've spent a little time looking at that, what do you think it is? Okay, uh, show of hands, please. Everybody, not just the team recorder, everybody. What do you think it is? Okay, I need to see a few more hands. Denise, Denise, do you know what it is? Have any idea? Okay, all right, everybody. Okay, most of you have some idea. Okay, uh, Daniel, what is it? Right, it's a map. It's a map. Uh, have you ever seen this kind of map before? Uh, those of you in Miss Squiggly's class, yeah, you saw it. Okay, yep, you saw it back in middle school. Okay, we'll think about the type of map it is soon. But I want to tell you, did you notice any particular places? Right, right, you see our school, Albany High School. Right, and what, what are you seeing about the school? Right, you're seeing the top of it. You're seeing the top of the school. It's a little box there, right? Okay, uh, look again. Look in your team. Do any of you see your homes? Okay, look closely at the map. Find the school and put the sticky on it. That's why it's laminated. Okay, and I want you to look around and find your home. Put a little yellow sticky on that as well. Okay, I think you've all found your home now, right? And you found the school. Does anybody live in Arbor Hill? Okay, I'd say, okay, maybe five, six of you do. Okay, so everybody know where Arbor Hill is? I'd like everyone to find Arbor Hill now, even if they don't live there. Take one of your pink stickies and put it on Arbor Hill. Anybody else notice something? David? Right. Squiggly lines. Squiggly lines. Okay. Talk in your group for a few minutes and tell me what you think the squiggly lines mean. Why are there squiggly lines? See if you can figure it out and uh, I'll give you one minute. Yeah, you can take the notes in your notebook. Yeah, take notes. All right, does every team have an idea about the squiggly lines? Okay. Okay, everybody in the team agreed? All right, uh, team two? Uh, tell us, what do you think the squiggly lines mean? Okay, they think it means streams. Streams. 
right? There are streams. Okay, it looks like somebody put some time into this map. Maybe they figured out where the streams are. Okay, what does everybody else think? Does everyone agree that those could be streams? Okay, other ideas? Well, first, team two, why do you think it's streams? Why do you think those squiggly lines represent streams? Okay, because they go in all sorts of different directions. It's not like the street, right? The streets are nice and straight. Okay, these seem to meander around. Okay, that could be a stream. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, does everybody agree then? You think these are streams? All right, team four. Okay, you've got some different ideas. Okay, tell me what you think they step, stand for. Okay, you're not sure, but you don't think they're streams. Okay, why don't you think they're streams? Okay, streams you think usually flow in one, the same sort of direction? Okay, and these seem to go too many directions? All right. Uh, let me give you a hint. I'd like all of you to move out, not just the Albany area itself, Albany City. I gave you a much bigger map. That's why it's all plastic, so it doesn't crinkle up from year to year. Look a little broader and see if there's any other clues on this map that might suggest what these squiggly lines represent. We've got one idea that they could be streams, but some of you are a little uncertain that they are streams. Spend a little time looking closer in your team, write down some notes, and come up with some other ideas, and see if you can give me some evidence that would suggest why your other ideas might, might work. Okay. Take, I'll give you a minute and a half, but I'll give you a hint. Look at the whole map. What do you think these lines mean? Okay, raise your hand, raise your hand. I know some of you really have the idea, or think you do. Okay, Henry, what do you think? Something to do with elevation. Okay, what does elevation mean? Right, how high something is, right. Do uh, we have any good English words that sound like elevation? Right, elevator, how high they move up and down. Okay, so elevation, something to do with elevation. What makes you think that? Okay, because you see numbers. You see numbers there right on the map. Yep, some of those lines, if you follow the squiggly, you'll find a number. Okay, and you notice that the numbers seem to get bigger and bigger as you move closer to what looks like it could be the top of the map. Right. Tell me something about the lines. Look at the lines at the escarpment and then look at the lines at Arbor Hill. How close are they? Right. Right. The escarpment, they seem to be closer. Okay. Is that telling us something? Right, it looks as though the elevation changes more quickly over at the escarpment. Okay, those numbers, those lines are much closer together, right? The elevation changes more quickly. Okay, let's look at Arbor Hill. Some of you live there. Yeah, it looks like when you walk home, it's not going to be quite as steep a climb. But if you try to walk home up the escarpment, yeah, I think you would have to bring some hiking gear with you. Okay. All right, so I think you're onto something. This has a lot to do with elevation. And now the question before I set you off on your project is why do we put these squiggly lines together to represent elevation? Now, remember what the escarpment is, right? It's that cliff, it looks kind of like a mountain that's at the bottom of Albany County. And you can see it here. Look at those lines. Tell me what you're seeing. And 
look over at your Arbor Hill lines and tell me why you think they're different. What does it mean? Okay, now that's leading me to something that we're going to be doing over the next three weeks in this unit. You are going to be developing your own housing area. You're going to be figuring out and convincing the county board where you could put a housing development. And you're going to have a couple of things in mind. You're going to want to have a place that has some good vistas. Plus, you're also going to want to be close to a highway. And you can see them on the map. They're very obvious. And proximity to a highway will be important as well. Okay, so you are going to, with your team, have a little bit of time at the end of every class to do some investigation. And each day we're going to learn a little bit more about how you would explain where you would locate something. Okay, by the end of this unit, you're going to learn more about how to find images of these different locations. Now, there aren't satellite images of every place, but we're pretty much near a city, and we should get some good satellite images, too, of some of these locations. So, over the next three weeks, each the end of each day, if you get your work done, we'll have about five minutes that you'll work in your team. And we'll find out also whether we can get into the library and have a day with the uh, satellite imagery. And uh, does everybody know PowerPoint? Right, right, I thought you did. Okay, you're all going to make presentations in your team. And by the end, you're going to try to convince the board to put your company on the books as being the developers. So let's see if it's one of our students from Albany High who actually win the government bid.